welcome to another Unity 5 2D car racing game tutorial. So as you can see in the last video we have created our game as this. So we are randomly generating the enemy cars in random positions. But till now there are no collisions so if I go and collide with the car nothing happens. So in this video we are going to add collisions between the cars so that whenever they collide my car gets destroyed. So let's get started. So all you have to do first of all is select the car uh, from the hierarchy and we're gonna add a rigid body component to our car. So from here select add component physics 2D rigid body 2D and make the gravity scale 0. Okay, make the gravity scale 0. Now again add component physics 2D and we're gonna add a box collider 2D. Okay. So click that. Now as you can see, uh, now our game has a box collider attached to it. So it is too big, so we have to edit this. So from here, uh, select the car. And as you can see, in the box collider, we have a edit collider option. So you're gonna click the edit collider option. So click that. Now we can edit the collider and make it small. So let's make it small enough to fit the car. I think this should be good so this is the collider attached to the car so now our car can collide with other game objects okay now we also have to add a collider to our enemy car so let's drag the enemy car to the hierarchy and drag it here now again select that add component physics 2d box collider 2d okay now it's too big again again too big so click on the edit collider button and again uh, make the collider a bit small so that it fits our car okay i think this should be good now we want to tag this car now tagging is a special feature of unity by which we can uh, we can tag we can add specific tags to specific game objects as an example you may add a tag player to your player game object you may add a tag enemy to the enemy game objects you may add friends to the friends game objects so we're gonna add a tag enemy car to this game object so select that and from the inspector you can see a tag option it is untagged now since we have not attached any tag yet so click the untagged and from here create I mean click the add tag button and we're gonna add a new tag so click the plus button and we're gonna add a new tag and we're gonna call it enemy car so now we have created a new tag now we have to add it to our car so select the black viper and from tag select enemy car so now it has a tag attached to it named enemy car now in order to make it also apply to the prefab, the original prefab, we have to click the apply button. If we don't click on the apply button, it will these changes will not be applied to the original prefab. This will be only be applied to this instance. Okay. So make sure to click the apply button. So now our job is this job is finished. Now we can delete it from the hierarchy. Okay, delete it. So now let's open the car controller script. If you can remember, we we wrote a car controller script before. It is uh, it is just used to control the car. So this is also gonna be responsible for controlling the collisions of the car. So in order to get a collision between two cars or any two game objects, Unity has a special function called on collision enter 2D. So let's go and write void on. Oops, what I'm doing on collision enter 2d okay so void on collision enter 2d and within the parameters we're gonna pass collision 2d call so what this function does is whenever this game object gets collided or it has any collision it gets into any collision with any other game object this on collision enter 2d gets called so when our car will be collided with the enemy cars this on collision enter to the function will get called 
so what we want to do inside that is inside that we just want to destroy our car so we write call no oh, I'm sorry so we write if call dot the game object dot tag now that is why we actually tagged the game object so that we can see if we are colliding with the enemy cars we want to destroy our car only and if I mean only and I'm <laughs> sorry we want to destroy our enemy car only if we get collided with the enemy car so we want to destroy our car only when we want we get collided with the enemy car so that is why we want to check if the game object dot tag equals enemy car okay if the game object dot tag is enemy car so what we are now do is we wanna destroy the game object so what this does is this is the car controller script and this script is attached to our car so whenever the car gets collided car uh, enters into any collision with any other game object this function gets called so now it checks to which we have collided so if we have collided to the object which has a tag enemy car our enemy cars have a tag enemy car so if we, it has collided with the object with which, ha which has a tag called enemy car we want to destroy our game object that is our car so this function destroy gets uh, I mean destroys whatever gets passed inside it so we are passing the game object that is our car so let's go and save it and now return to unity now play again and as you can see now why is it taking so much time now I have to dodge through the cars and if I collide with it my gear gets destroyed let's try it one more time now I have to dodge through the cars and if I get collided if I get collided if I get collided my car gets destroyed okay so it's pretty fun now so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something if you have any questions just write those in comments and please subscribe and like and share okay so in the next video we'll actually find a mechanism to remove the cars as you can see the cars are getting down if I run it as you can see the cars are going down and they are never getting destroyed okay they are going down and down and down and as you can see here we are getting too many cars so in the next video we want to destroy these cars whenever they gets out of our screen so that's what we're going to do in the next video. So this is it for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching. And please subscribe, like, and share. So thanks for watching. And have an awesome day.